Hey, today we're going to be talking about the Memzik 2125 from the Maker Shed. It's a really cool two axis accelerometer. It can measure vibration, gravity, um, dynamic acceleration, all sorts of really cool stuff. You can use it to make balancing robots or musical instruments. You know, think of the Wii controller. Proto Shield, which we have right here, attached to an Arduino. Now, we're going to take a look at the data sheet real quick. Okay, so to find the data sheet for the Memsic 2125, uh, you can see it's featured on the homepage right now, but it won't always be there. So here's a search bar, and we go Memsic and hit go. Here it is. And if you click on the how to, you'll see there's a link for the data sheet. Okay, so here's the data sheet. And what I want to point out here is there's a lot of information that you can read about it, you know, specs and everything. But as you get to page two, it actually shows you how to hook it up. And it's really easy. You can see there's an arrow right here. And that arrow is also on the little Memsic sensor itself. So that's pointing up. From there, here's pin one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what's important here for what we're doing is pin 6 needs to be connected to positive 5 volts, which you can find on um, the Arduino or on the ProtoShield. And we're going to be using pin 4 connected to ground. Pin 3 ground we actually don't even need for what we're doing. And then notice this. Pin 2 here is the Y data out, and pin 5 here is the X data out. If we scroll down here, it'll tell you basically how this works and how you, you read the pulse and that determines uh, uh, what the force is on the sensor. And then there's also, what's interesting here is this information right here, we're basically gonna translate this, or somebody already did, because we're actually gonna be uh, grabbing some code from the Arduino website. But we're gonna be actually using this math formula right here to calculate out the millijis um, from the sensor. So let's get back to the build. Okay, so from what we saw on the data sheet, there's a little arrow pointing up, and there's six pins on it. We don't even need to use all the pins for this demonstration. If you want to know what the rest do, you know there's a lot more information on the data sheet. Okay, so again, from the data sheet, the arrow's pointing up. So when the arrow's pointing up, we know that this middle pin right here is the x-axis. In the Arduino code that we're going to be using, the x-axis gets plugged into pin 2. So all I have to do is find a little rail right here on the breadboard and let's go ahead and use like an orange wire so it's easy to see. And we'll plug that into digital pin 2. That's 0, 1, 2. Done. Now we need to plug in the y-axis. Again from the data sheet we saw that the y-axis is this middle pin here. So we're going to go ahead and plug the yellow wire in there and we want the y-axis to go into digital pin 3. We'll put it in right there. Let's bend these down so you can see it a little better. Now the last thing we need to do is give the board some power. Once again from the data sheet we know that we need ground applied to this pin right here and on the proto shield I have a nice ground rail right there. And we can give it plus 5 volts from this top pin on the right hand side or the side with the X out. And we will go ahead and sneak another jumper wire in there. And we have plus five volt on the proto shield here. But you also have it on the Arduino um, on the side right here if you don't have a proto shield. You can breadboard this out really easily. And that is actually all we need to hook up to get basic data out of the accelerometer. So let's go ahead and upload the code and go over it. I'm at arduino.cc. And this is uh, one of the things I wanted to point out. One of the great things about Arduino is it's open source. And being that it's open source, it encourages people to share their code. So if you go to Google and you just want to you know, make something with an Arduino, Google it. Google Arduino Accelerometer or Arduino Memzik, and you'll, uh, you'll find a lot of interesting code, a lot of really interesting projects. 
I'm going to go to the Arduino website and I'm just going to type in Memzik. And the first one is Arduino Memzik 2125. So we're going to take a look at that. And sure enough, there's even a picture of how to hook it up. There's a link to the data sheet here too. Um, an explanation on how it works and what it can read. And there's even example code. So I'm actually going to just highlight this example code. Now I could write this, of course, but you know I don't need to. Somebody already did. They posted it. And I just want to see how the code works. So I copied it. Now we're over here in the Arduino environment. I'm running Arduino 15. I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to check with my uh, in tools board, make sure I have the right board selected, which I do. I'm using the AT Mega 168. And a lot of times you also want to make sure that your serial port is selected properly. I'm using a USB. So it's this one right here. And that's about it. I'm going to plug the Arduino in. We already created the circuit based on the data sheet. And I'm going to click Upload to Board. Let's see what happens. You can see down here it's telling me Uploading to I.O. Board. And Done Uploading. Tells you the size. Everything's good. So let's go ahead and monitor the serial output and see what it does. It's set to 9600 baud. And here's the data streaming in from the Arduino. Now, if I go ahead and pick up the Arduino, I know you can't see this, but if I tilt it in one direction, you'll see these right here. This is the x-axis. goes from 800 to there. And then if I roll it the other way on the y-axis, you can see these numbers go positive and negative. And what that's doing is it's calculating out the milli-g's. Okay, so you're able to get the data out of this two-axis accelerometer, but what do you do next? Well, you could always add a servo in, and maybe you could control the movement of a servo with this, or add some piezo speakers and make some music, or you could even add, I don't know, a whole bunch of LEDs, and that could be really cool too, control the light based on how it's tilted, or make a balancing robot. Whatever you do, just uh, make sure to send me a link to your project so you can post it up on the Make blog because that would be really cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next week.